So the third piece that we talked about at the beginning of the morning was the relationship connection. We've already talked about the internal selling connection. We've talked about DISC, and DISC is a great tool to help us kind of uh, connect with our people on a better level. And I know that you guys all enjoyed uh, going through your DISC profiles. We are available to have some more discussions about those if you want during our breaks. Now, this piece is kind of interesting because if you were to think about a couple of people that you aren't doing business with, but do have access to them and the relationship is what you would consider to be a good relationship, it's really not if you're not getting the business. And I love it when, when somebody's um, doing uh, field visits with people and they say, listen, you know, I got a great relationship with this guy. And my first question is, great, how much business are you getting? Well, you know, we're not really getting a lot of business. Well, then why would you call that a great relationship? It's really not. So today, for the next uh, several minutes, I want to kind of share with you why this model will help you kind of recategorize where your relationships are. What we found is that a lot of people think that a great relationship is one where you can talk to your customers without necessarily getting the business. And I'm, I'm going to push back a little bit on that. So there are four levels. Uh, they are trivial, marginal, cooperative, and collaborative. And I'm going to take you through a little bit about each one. But before we do that, what I want to do is I want to tell you, what, you know, what's the criteria that we came up with to distinguish between a trivial relationship, a marginal, cooperative, and collaborative. And the four criteria that we came up with is access, trust, time, and value. And value is the real big one, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. So let's talk a little bit about access.